Hi there, my name is Lorna Lee, and in my last tutorial, I showed you how to create a Google profile with a custom vanity URL. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trick out your Google profile in a way that supports your online brand. I'm going to show you some simple ways in which you can optimize your Google profile for your keywords so that your profile reinforces your web presence for the keywords that you want to have associated with your personal brand and how you want to be found on the web. So it's a good idea before you begin to have an understanding of what those keywords might be. So in my case, I want to be found for um, search terms related to online marketing, especially search engine marketing or social media. So I've got an idea of what those keywords are and I'm gonna go ahead and begin by starting my Google profile right now. Let's go ahead and upload a photo. Okay, so you can add some more information here. Grew up in Hong Kong, I live in San Francisco. Lived in Shanghai and Paris. I do online marketing and I love it. I specialize in search engine optimization or SEO. I also do paid search or SEM, search engine marketing. And I um, love to do social media marketing as well. I work for salesforce.com. My superpowers include online reputation management. Interests include SEO, SEM, pay-per-click, social media, you get the picture. So let's go ahead and add a short bio. Okay, a bio page is a great place to add keywords um, that you want associated with your personal brand. So in my case, my keywords are all related to online marketing and search. So um, you can see I have them in my text, my copy. Um, I've got, you know, some key phrases repeated a couple times. Um, so, you know, uh, it's good to repeat your keywords in order to emphasize or add relevance, but it's also important not to overdo it. I would also go ahead and link to other web pages or other profiles from this area. You have a little link button right here. So um, I've created a online social network for search engine marketers. It's located on LinkedIn and it's called Search Marketing Salon. So I'm gonna go ahead and link Search Marketing Salon to that website. I'm gonna link my personal blog, Game Marketing 2.0. And this is also a great place to highlight certain articles or blog posts that you might have written that um, you want to have rank for certain uh, relevant keywords. So um, for example, I wrote a blog post that many people found very useful in helping them understand how to create a social media marketing plan. So this blog post is called Six Steps for Creating a Social Media Marketing Roadmap and Plan. And it gives you an idea about how to approach the social web and how to uh, segment your audience and how to um, engage them. And uh, I would like this blog post to be found for the keyword social media strategy. So I'm going to go ahead and link this text to that blog post. Go ahead and save. And then here in this section, there's also another area where you can add links to social profiles and online photo albums and personal websites. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my Twitter profile here. And 
I'm going to do it in a way that allows me to assign relevance to my name. So this area here, the link name, is a place where you can control the anchor text of your hyperlink. So anchor text is also known as link text, and it is the visible text of a hyperlink. One of the most important search engine ranking factors is the anchor text of the links pointing to a page. So if you can imagine a web page that has lots and lots of links pointing to it that all say something like, oh, uh, search engine marketing, search engine marketing consultant, search engine marketing strategy, then um, that tells search engines um, essentially what that page or what other people believe that page to be about. So I am going to add Lorna Lee on Twitter. That serves me a lot better than just adding Twitter or twitter.com because I want my specific Twitter profile to be found for my, um, my name. So let's go ahead and click add. Because Google is so smart, uh, it has found all the other websites that it thinks is associated to me. So Bubblicious is a tech blog that I used to blog for on Web 2.0 applications. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And here you can also edit the anchor text of the hyperlink. So instead of Bubblicious, I'm going to add Web 2.0 News. done. And so here you have it. This is the idea, um, basic concept around optimizing your Google profile um, for your keywords and also a way in which you can link out from your Google profile to your other social profiles out on the web. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, so here is my profile all completed. So in this case, you can see this section here in the top right is where I have links to all the different social profiles that I have out on the web with my name in the anchor text. And um, let me show you why that is important. For example, um, if you go ahead and Google me, you will see that in doing so, I've created a listing. Um, each one of those social profiles is now a listing on the first page of Google results for my name. So here you can see that social media can be a really powerful way to enhance your online brand and especially to manage your online reputation. If you are in control of all these different profiles, then you are in control of what people see when they actually search for your name on the web. And people do that, and your employers do that, um, your friends might do that, your colleagues might do that. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you a Google profile that I found to be really well done. And this is a Google profile by a gentleman named Zach Katz, who happens to be a search engine optimizer in Denver. So Zach Katz is a Denver web designer and SEO, and he's done a great job of tricking out his Google profile. Um, you can see here that he's shared um, on his profile page uh, images from his um, web design portfolio, which happens to be hosted on Picasso. So if you can go ahead and click on one of the thumbnails, you can see a screenshot of a website that he actually um, helped a client design. Um, so he's really done a great job of highlighting his work and um, uh, placing his keywords on the page. You can see over on the right-hand side are links to all the different social profiles and um, websites that uh, where he has a presence um, with his name and with his uh, important keyword, SEO. So um, you know, I hope this inspires you all to go out there and get the most out of Google profiles. Um, it's uh, not very difficult to do, and it'll certainly have a lot of great benefits for you and your online branding. So thank you very much for joining me in this episode. My name is Lorna Lee, and uh, you can go ahead and uh, visit me at lornalee.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.